Welcome! So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you or teach you on how to read this gas fees on Uniswap. So if you want to know how I did it, just keep on watching. So these are the steps and tips that you can follow. Choose the right time. Okay, so first of all, choose the right time. Gas fees on Ethereum-based decentralized exchanges like Uniswap can vary depending on network congestion. Gas fees tend to be lower during periods of lower network activity, such as late at night or early in the morning. Keep an eye on the Ethereum network congestion and try to perform your transaction during off-peak hours. Use a gas fee tracker. Gas fee trackers like GasNow or F Gas Station provide real-time information on gas prices and network congestion. Before making a transaction on Uniswap, check these trackers to get an idea of the current gas fees. You can choose to perform your transaction when the gas fees are relatively lower. Adjust gas settings. When interacting with Uniswap, you have the option to adjust the gas settings manually. You can choose a lower gas price or limit the maximum gas you are willing to spend. However, be cautious as the setting gas fees too low may result in slower transaction, confirmation, or even failed transactions if the network is congested. Consider alternative networks. So Uniswap is primarily built on the Ethereum network which ha can have high gas fees. However, there are other networks like Binance Smart Chain or Polygon, the form formerly Matic, that offer lower transaction fees. You can explore the centralized exchanges on these networks that support similar tokens and trade with lower gas fees. Batch transactions. So if you plan to make multiple transactions on Uniswap, consider batching them. Together into a single transaction, this can help reduce overall gas cost compared to performing each transaction separately. Use liquidity pools with lower gas fees. Uniswap operates on a liquidity pool model where users provide liquidity to the pools and earn fees. Different pools may have different gas fees depending on the tokens involved. Explore different pools and compare the gas fees as treated with each to find options with lower fees. The last one is explore layer 2 sol sol solutions. So layer 2 scaling solutions like Optimism or Arbitrum aim to address the scale scalability issues of the Ethereum network and reduce gas fees. Keep an eye on the development of these solutions as they may provide lower cost alternatives for interacting with Uniswap in the future. So remember that gas fees are dynamic and can change rapidly based on network conditions. It is essential to stay informed and adjust your strategies accordingly to reduce gas fees effectively on Uniswap. And that is how you do it. So I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you won't miss a video. See you in the next one and have a great day.